morning guys look at my hat i literally look like malfoy from harry potter oh god i hate it i use the um five shades lighter the bleach london it's kind of like a hair lift and it's lifted the color fair enough i used to have like really dark roots by here if you remember it's just got a bit yellow and orange and it's more like strawberry blonde right now and i don't know how i feel about it just ordered some milkshake silver shampoo which was recommended to me to try and kind of like make the brassy tones come out a bit hopefully that'll do the job i'm feeling really like meh today decided that i was obviously gonna film something for this week but had no idea what to film just been like in this sort of rut for the last week so i'm starting this vlog feeling really shitty and hopefully by the end of it i'll feel great just made myself a nice little oat milk coffee my second one of the day i've had breakfast plan for today is I need to sort my face out and get a little bit more spruced up. I was gonna sit down and chat to you about all my YouTube setup, my lighting, my studio space, my um, how I edit my photos on Instagram. Let me know if you still want that video because I will do that for you, but I wasn't feeling like anyone would want or care about it. Instead, I'm gonna just do a vlog. I think I'm gonna try and get myself out of the house. Maybe we'll try on some pieces together and yeah. Just made my face go real red. <laughs> Cause I just do what I do when I can I keep on killing them by accident Never stunting on them when I'm flexing Cause I'm just grateful for the life I have I never had any control of my life and what I spend my value isn't money, mine is everlasting sense of self, my conscious self Screaming DDB, be free and don't repent I told you, told you, nobody can compare Yeah, could never replace what's not there, no Yeah, I can, yeah, I can, yeah, I can yeah, 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 I can. I've now got makeup on. Got really distracted and started looking for some music because see as I'm looking for some inspiration, I thought I would put some new songs and stuff on my iPod. And there's a few songs that I wanted to download as well. If you were wondering what sort of music I have downloaded, I will show you now. I absolutely love The Slaves, so I downloaded their new album. I also downloaded some IMDDB. I kind of have like a weird relationship with her music. I don't know. It took me a while to get used to it, but now I kind of like her soul. There's this song from Dreyas, I want to say, Fee M-I-A, and it's called Warm. I'll play it for you now. Oh, yeah. That was one of my favourites. I just discovered Abra and she's really good as well. I feel like that's one of the things that helps me get inspired. My makeup for today is pretty much what it was in my IT Cosmetics review. Instead of my IT Cosmetics CC cream, I used the YSL foundation, the All Hours, which I've been loving at the moment. It's just a simple makeup look for today, I think. Two past two, so I'll probably get the bus into town, which is in about 20 minutes. Quickly put on some clothes, and yeah. Not worn these trousers in a while. I think I bought them in like February time. I didn't really wear them that much, so I'm looking forward to wearing these a bit more. I will show you them now. Excuse the messy room. This is what I decided to go with. These are like chinos from Topshop. Perfect for like autumn, I think. I will link something similar down below. There is a lot of tan chinos going on at the moment. Paired it with a black Zara tee just to like keep it nice and casual and simple. Old school fans. I think it gives a nice like skatery vibe to it. I was thinking of Pairing it with this black shaggy cardigan. Less of a skatery vibe and more of a glammy vibe. So comfortable. I literally been wearing it so much. I will, this is still available by the way. It's from Misguided, so I will link that down below as well. Before I forget, this is my new favourite perfume at the moment. It is 
the New York perfume from M&S and I got introduced to this by my lovely auntie and my mum. It is a dupe for something, I can't remember. It's got a really nice sophisticated musky smell. This bottle was £18. They do a smaller tester bottle which is I want to say eight or nine pounds. Check that out, I will link that below. I'm going to head into town now and I will see you in a bit. some retail therapy definitely did the job for the short term it's made me happy i went to h&m new look um zara primark i ventured in primark where else did i go and then i went to tesco on the way back because i'm gonna make a halloumi pie but i'll get to that in a bit i'm gonna show you the pieces and try them on do like a little mini haul for you guys very informal i'm gonna put you on the tripod and i'll just show you what I got. I've just stuck on a misguided baggy oversized tee. I'll link all of these in the description box. Straight away hit you with my bargain. These were $7.99 in. There's a vintage store that's opened in Cardiff called Flamingo Vintage, I want to say. Flamingo something. Um, it's in the capital centre if you're from Cardiff. They weigh everything from the kilo. It's £18 per kilo. I have been struggling to find some dungarees, like short dungarees that fit me like really well for like so long. I think this must be kids or something. Oh, I got something, a receipt stuck to my foot. This is like the perfect length that like you can see at the back as well. It's a really nice wash vintage blue. Look on ASOS, I think they do a similar sort of wash in their dungarees. I have this thing where, where's my phone? I love to put my phone in the pocket. I am so happy with my dungaree. So this is the shirt that you probably saw me try on in New Look. I never ever go into New Look at all, but I've seen this shirt on a girl on Instagram, I can't remember her name, but she styled it with denim jeans, which I will do in a bit now. Never ever a snake skin type of girl, but I feel like it's a really nice vintage effect. It looks like quite like charity shop buy. Got this in a size six. I have rolled the sleeves up a couple of times. It's supposed to come down a little bit further down. I've also gone with a white denim skirt. Probably check on some Doc Martens with these. Is my fly ending? So these are my Zara denim jeans. They give me a little bit of a front wedgie, so ignore that. Is that better? Yeah. This sort of denim wash goes really nicely with this shirt as well. Gives it the whole vintage feel. Winner, winner, veggie dinner. I haven't got the nicest bra on it, <laughs> so maybe I will invest in a nicer bra. But um, I just really like the whole like casual vibe of this. I know it's just like literally a white vest, but if you if I come up close, you can see um, it's got some buttons through the middle there. And then this really nice sort of like embroidery detail on there. And it just makes it a little bit different. It takes like a vest to a next level, I think. Whilst I'm here and I've got this on, I got this from New Look. And it's like a tobacco colour. It's a cardigan and I'm obsessed. 
it's sort of like the jackets, the um, shearling jackets that you get, but as a cardigan. It does not look like it's from New Look. I wouldn't say it's really comfortable, but it's not itchy, if that makes sense. I got this in a size up, I got this in a size medium. I was um and ahhing about getting the large or the medium because I absolutely adore adore oversized cardigans but because the sleeves are like ballooned and you've got like an elastic thing on your wrist here and they're ballooned you can kind of get away with it if you know what I mean it is oversized anyway 20 quid for a cardi don't mind if I do so this was way harder to style than I thought this top it's literally just a lace plunge tie top got really nice flouncy sleeves to it and it's just really pretty so i didn't know what to pair it with when i paired it with those white trousers they it worked perfectly like it looks so nice but i just didn't have the money to spend on those trousers i think it's really nice especially if you've got like a nice necklace or some nice earrings it's really pays attention to your decolletage. Yeah, I don't know, I feel like I need to experiment with this top a bit more and see what I can do with it. So I actually just paired it with just some plain black jeans and I think that the black on black works really nice because I've got like a some flash showing here and there's obviously a quite revealing top. You can even stick some like heels on, like some brightly coloured heels on, like an after work drink situation or something. For the final thing, I'm just gonna quickly show you my earrings because I'm so hungry and I need to make a pie. These from Primark, they're like a tortoiseshell, two pounds as you can see, super, super cheap. They'll go really nicely with that shirt. Ooh. I'm stuck. The next earrings, I was umming and ahhing about getting these, but I was like, they're two pounds. Like, why am I umming and ahhing about it? Twist chunky hoop. And they were two pounds too. And I just thought they were really cute. Big shout out to Sophie Pond for introducing me to these earrings. They are so extra. They say the word femme. These were two pounds as well. Um, I just thought these would be such a nice little cute earring to stick on with maybe my dungarees and stuff. Primark are really good at the moment for earrings so have a look. Going to start making my pie which I'm gonna show you as I do it hopefully. Usually I get real stressed with food. I'm not very good at cooking at all and I can do this, it's so easy. I've just added some carrots, onions and crushed garlic with a bit of oil in a pan. Now I'm going to add the frozen peas and peppers, the sweet corn. I'm just going to add that into that and then make sure that it's all cooked. It's so pretty. Oh, I'm just gonna add the halloumi to this frying pan. So you don't need any oil. You wanna cook it until the halloumi has no water in, basically. Definitely gonna snack on some um, pita chips and hummus whilst I'm waiting, because I'm so hungry. Mm. These are the sour cream and onion pita chips on m &S. My white sauce nearly went wrong. My mum had to save me because, I, like I said, I'm not that great of a cook. It is literally just flour, milk and butter. Um, you could probably Google it if you were actually going to make this. I'm just basically making a white sauce so that I can add it to the veg and then sort my pastry out. Super tasty veg with white sauce. Flour. favorite white wine by the way it is the Sauvignon Blanc Marlborough New Zealand Tesco finest you eating all my leftovers on the floor pie is in the oven it just went wrong in so many ways gonna be there for about 
30 minutes. I'm gonna sit in my bed and watch on YouTube until the pie is done. So shower has happened. I'm a little bit blushed on my cheeks because I've had a glass of wine and that's what happens when I have a glass of wine. Still got bits of makeup under my eyes. So I'm gonna just take you through a little, little sneak peek of my nighttime skincare. I'll do a video on this eventually but um yeah when I have a shower I wash my face in the shower with St. Ives Blackhead Clearing Green Tea Scrub. I think it's really good. Calms any redness, which is really good for me. It really smooths out my pores. Put you here. Take you through what I do with my face. I have a Clinique Take the Day Off um, sample, which I've been using. I'm gonna buy the actual real deal soon. What I really like about this is that it feels really soft on my skin. I love a balm texture. Make sure that I have a damp cloth to hand, which this one's from Primark. I'm going to now just wipe off the cleanser. Focus a lot on my eyes because that is what doesn't come off in the shower. This isn't something that I usually do, but I really wanna try the Kiehl's Midnight Recovery. That's all I'm gonna use. I think I might invest in this if it's a good product. Oh God, this is really hard to get into. When you test a product for the first time, Make sure you don't use anything else but that product for the first couple of days. Because I thought that was never going to happen. And it has a really nice smell to it as well. Just going to... Oh wait, she told me to dab it into my skin. That is pretty much all I'm going to do. Is it done yet? Hmm. Who knows if it's going to be good. Da, da, da. It's not about the exterior. It's about how it tastes. So I'm going to end this vlog now. I literally can't take myself seriously. I need to put my hair down. I want to shave it off. If you like what I do and you like this vlog, then please hit the subscribe button. And yeah, I'd love to have you here again. Please let me know what you'd like to see next time and I will do that for you. I'm going to eat my pie now. <laughs>